my baby. Once she stepped in the room, her presence was known. 38-year-old Ashara Turville smiles as she recalls the relationship she shared with her daughter, 17-year-old Sheena Turville. But I am happy. I am happy for what she has done, whom all she has impacted within her 17 years. Sheena died when she crashed the car she was driving on George Albury Boulevard in Dundastown, Abaco, earlier this week. The teenager was ejected from the vehicle and died later at the Marsh Harbor Clinic. The doctor came out, my husband came in, and my husband sat down. And from my husband sat down, I knew that the news was, in, was not going to be good. I spoke to Terville, who lives in Murphytown, Abaco, over Zoom. The 38-year-old is trying to stay strong for her family. Sheena's uncle is having a difficult time coping with her death. Her mother has been trying to encourage him. We gotta get up. God needed his flower back into his garden. And my baby was a flower. She was a radiant one. I said he, he needed her back. Just last Friday, the Turville family was celebrating Sheena's graduation from Patrick J. Bethel High. It was a tough few years for the teenager as she survived Dorian and dealt with the interruption to normal learning due to COVID. Graduation was a day full of joy and surprises, like seeing her uncle, who visited from Canada. Listen, this is what graduation is about. Tears of joy, you made it, you made it over the hurdles. You made it. This is what the tears of joy is about. She was so happy to graduate. We had so many plans for her. Terville had already got certified to do mink lashes and had plans to go and pursue full-fledged cosmetology. She had two younger siblings who her mother says she has to stay strong for. I'm enjoying my good days because I don't want to, to get in a dark place with my dark days because I have a nine-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter that I still have to raise and raise in the same way that I did with Sheena, that when they see them, they see Sheena in them. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Jared Higgs.